Thanks, Coach. Okay, so you found out that you're a 10 seed playing the 7 seed Louisville in Des Moines. What's your thoughts? Well, excited, obviously, to be a part of this tournament. Um, you know, it's everybody's dream when you start a season, when you're recruiting, when you're building that foundation to get in the NCAA tournament. It's really hard, um, you know, especially when you're playing in this league. It's so competitive. So proud of our guys. We've dealt with a lot of adversity, been able to fight through it, had a great weekend in Chicago. And uh, now we kind of turn the page to the next season. We're really excited about it. You talk about the adversity, the ups and downs that you've really faced the past couple of weeks. Tell me now that you know you're in, it's all finalized, what your reaction is, and maybe how you're feeling now as opposed to even a couple of weeks ago. A couple of weeks ago, not as great. Um, you know, going into the Big Ten tournament, I thought when we beat Purdue, uh, we got in Northwestern on the road, beat Purdue, I, I felt okay. But then you're looking at all these other teams, and that's scary when you're seeing all that stuff fluctuate. So then we played um, in the first round of the Big or second round of the Big Ten tournament, played a really good Penn State team, a hot Penn State team. Found a way to win in overtime, felt a little bit better, but I was still like, man, if we could get Purdue, that would solidify it. But we had just beaten them, and they're a really good team. Found a way to get that done, felt good about it. So now excited about it. You know, this, is, you know, this is what you dream of. Uh, it's great for your players to be a part of it. Not everybody in college basketball gets to, you know, take that in. I think it's only about 19% of college basketball plays in this event. Uh, so it's hard fought, hard earned, and we're excited about it. After the initial excitement and applause in there, there was a little bit of a groan because if you win and if Michigan State wins, you meet. What does that say to you? Well, they're a terrific team. Um, but we've got, you know, bigger problems ahead. It's kind of a one game. And it's, you, you, there's no way in the tournament – Maybe if you're a really high seed, that first game may be easy. Other than that, and obviously we're a 10 seed, but other than that, they're all very, very difficult. There, there's no easy matchups. Uh, you got to bring it, and Michigan State's a terrific team. I uh, haven't watched much Louisville, but I'm sure they're a very good team as well. What about what do you want to prove in this tournament? You want to get in, and then what's the next step? Well, you certainly want to make sure people know you belong, um, you know, and you just got to compete your butt off. I mean, the, the good thing about the Big Ten tournament for us was we had two single elimination games, win or go home, found a way to win them. That shows great toughness. Obviously, we wore down the third night, um, you know, so we'll get some rest, and it's, it's all or nothing for Thursday. That's the way your mentality's got to be this time of year. I don't know if it's been a conversation, but maybe that's my question. Has it been a conversation that the Final Four is here in Minneapolis? Well, obviously, for local kids, they dream about that. We get to look at that building all the time. Um, it's something special, but that's so far in advance. It's so hard. That's so difficult. So for me, as a coach, I try not to think like that. I try to just lo you know, focus on uh, one day at a time. Uh, you know, so the biggest thing is enjoy this tonight, that we're a part of this, and then get to work and start game planning. I know you said you hadn't watched a lot of Louisville, but just first thoughts when their name popped up. Well, obviously, there's familiarity, um, you know, for me. Um, I don't know much about them as much. I haven't been able to watch them. You, you know, you really watch so much of your, you know, your league when you get in conference. Uh, so I know they're well coached. I know they've got some talent. I think they had a pretty good year. Uh, so it'll be interesting. It'll be a fun matchup. Does it almost make it easier having a familiar name then on the other side of that bracket? Well, it's a couple of years removed, um, you know, so, I mean, it's uh, a lot has changed since then. So I don't know much about their team. I think they got some fifth-year seniors and some guys like that. Uh, so it's a little bit different. So, you know, it's this time of year, it's all different. You know, you got to regroup and you got to put your own game plan together and prepare for a new season. So on that note, how nice will it be to not play someone in the Big Ten considering how tough of a league it is? It's a grind. Uh, the 20 games was fun, interesting. It wears you down. It's so physical. Um, you know, it's just a, it's a bloodbath every single night. Uh, but it makes you better. It makes you tougher. There's great coaches. There's great players. There's great fan bases. Uh, so it's a terrific league to be a part of and to be able to say for our program that we've been in this tournament two of the last three years, something special. Coach, thanks so much for the time. Thank you. Thanks, Dupree. First, your reaction when you saw your name call and you're playing Louisville. Uh, it was a blessing to get our name called. Uh especially early on. Uh, we're excited and we're excited to get to work. Explain the emotion that is behind this year's announcement as opposed to maybe a couple of years ago we were talking about. Uh, so, um, you know, two years ago, you know, we, it was our first time there. So, you know, we were very happy, you know, jumping around. But uh, this year, you know, we've, we acted like we've been here before. So, you know, we, like I said before, we're just ready to get to work. There's that initial excitement and then Michigan State's name was called. What was going through your brain? Uh, you know, um, we're playing a, a good Louisville team, you know, I watch them a lot. And then, you know, uh, probably play against uh, Michigan State. But you never know what will happen in March. But, um, you know, uh, 
you, know, you, you don't think you'll play against another Big Ten team. You'll think you're playing against another ACC team or, you know, a Big 12 team or any other conference, but, you know, uh, another Big Ten matchup if we win. Now that you know you're in, what do you want to prove on the court? Uh, stop sleeping on us. Um, you know, uh, we worked too hard to get here, and we're, we're going to show it. Has it been a conversation all or a thought in your mind that the Final Four is here in Minneapolis? Of course. And, um, you know, if we was to ever get there, we know it would be like a home game for us. How did the Big Ten tournament prepare you guys now for what's ahead? Um, it it instilled some confidence in us. Uh, we won two games. You know, people thought we went in the one to Purdue game, but we won that game and um, played against Michigan. So, you know, just going game by game and, and, and getting more and more confidence in our guys. Explain the roller coaster ride of even the past couple of weeks of not knowing if you're in, maybe thinking you're in, and then knowing now you are in, and how even that prepares you. It's a sign of relief. Um, you know, just two weeks ago we were on the bubble, and then um, we get some really good wins. So uh, it's, it's just a sign of relief. You know, we, we, know we, we know we're in, and it's just time to get ready for the big stage. From just even watching and following basketball throughout the year, do you know much about Louisville, you personally? Um, I, I've seen them versus Duke, uh, but – no, nah, not, not really. So you have some studying to do. You have time, of course. What's it like, though, for your senior year to be capping it off with this tournament, and especially, Dupree, with everything that you've been through this season? Oh, man. It, uh, I can't even find the words, but um, it's, it's, it's a blessing you know, with everything I've been through. Uh, you know, my teammates just kept me leveled. Uh, you know, I kept them leveled. And then, you know, for us to be in is like, all right, let's go. Let's go shock the world. That's 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 what I tell them all the time when uh, we're about to take floor. I say, let's go and shock the world. What would your mom tell you at a time like this? Go and shock the world. Go and shock the world. Thanks, Dupree. No, thank you, Daniel. So a first time for you, really going through this experience. Second time in three years for this team. But what was it like for you hearing your name called? Uh, it's kind of a special moment being a freshman and being able to go to the NCAA tournament your first year on campus. Um, Pretty excited and just ready to get to work. So you see that you're playing Louisville Thursday. What immediately comes to mind? Uh, just um, a tough, gritty team, I think. Uh, I haven't watched much of them all season, but I know they're a very good team over there and just excited to play them. If you win and if Michigan State wins, you meet. What does that mean? Um, kind of shows the Big Ten has a lot of power in the NCAA tournament. Um, but also uh, just being able to play against another really good team. Um, they got a great group of guys over there, and so it's just really fun to look looking forward for it. What do you think the past couple of weeks have said about this team with everything that you guys have been through from thinking that maybe, you know, you're on the bubble to, hey, I think we're in? Um, we fought through a lot of adversity, and um, but the most important thing it was, it was that we kept fighting and kept pushing, and um, we played through t really tough games, and we did a lot of things people thought we couldn't do, and I feel like overall we've proved a lot of people wrong and we're just continuing to build off the success we have. So what do you want to prove now? Um, that we can compete with anybody. Um, come Thursday when I, or whenever we play the first game, we're ready to show the country what we're all about. As a freshman, what have you already noticed this time of year that maybe changes from what you've been doing all season long? I don't know. It gets more tough down the stretch of the season. Um, a lot more. you got to show a lot more fight and more effort, and games get way more closer than... It might have been earlier in the season. So just being able to fight through adversity. The conversation among your teammates, what are you guys saying right now? Um, we got to stay locked, locked in. Um, you know, we're happy where we're at, but we know we still got a lot of work to do, and we're just going to keep working. Specifically, how do you think the Big Ten tournament prepared you guys now for what's ahead? Um, we, played two, we played three really good teams, Michigan, Purdue, and Penn State, and all three of those teams – my uh, the really good teams and and being able to play against them this week past weekend I feel like gave us a glimpse of what the NCAA tournament might look like. What does it mean that the Final Four is here in Minneapolis? I know that's down the road, but has it been a thought? Um, I, I I've always obviously thought about it, but uh, it's, it's actually really special that it's here, especially my first year here. So I think it's awesome that that type of um, they're bringing that type of atmosphere here to Minneapolis. Daniel, thank you so much for the time. Thank you. Jordan, you've been here before, but this time, this year, when you heard your name called, what was it like? 
Uh, it was a great feeling. Obviously, you couldn't get too excited just because of the fact we've been here before, and some of the other guys wanted to get up and just be loud, but uh, we told them just to get a slow clap on. A <laughs> slow clap on. Why is it important now to kind of act like you've been there? Uh, it's about just not getting too high, not getting too low, being level-headed, going into an environment where it's unmarked territory and there's anything can happen. Okay, so you're up against Louisville. Immediately, what comes to mind? Uh, just I know they play a really fast pace. They're very physical. Obviously, I like to get out on the break, and that's just about that's just about all I know about them. From your experience, look, you've been here before. What does it take at this point to win in this atmosphere and environment? Um, I think it takes just being composed, being tough, and being resilient. Obviously, those are the main things our team's about. So I think those I think we'll be fine with those. How do you think that the Big Ten tournament then even prepared you for now? Uh, I think it helped us because we were ne we were the underdog in every single game we played, and I think we weren't really picked to win any of the games we were in. So I think that has a big, uh, big factor to do with it. So maybe now as people get to know your name maybe and you're not considered underdogs, what do you want to prove in this tournament? Uh, that we're just as good as any other team in the country and that we can play with anybody. And how can you prove that? Uh, just by working hard, uh, staying with the game plan, the uh, scouting report that our coaches provide for us, and just staying confident. That's the main thing. We have a quiet confidence, and we're going to keep that quiet confidence about us. As a captain and senior on this team, what do you tell your teammates right now? Uh, this time of the year is fun. Uh, you got to enjoy it. It's a once-a-lifetime type of thing, but also we got to know it's all about business. It's all about winning. If you take care of business, I know it's a long process, but the final four is here in Minneapolis. Have you thought about that? Uh, I have. I mean, I don't know how many teams and how many hosting cities and their teams have made it to the Final Four, but that's something we definitely have on our goal list. And also, if you win and if Michigan State wins, you meet. What does that say to you? Uh, I, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I mean, obviously, Michigan State's a really talented team, very physical team. They're very, one of the best teams in the Big Ten, if not the best team in the Big Ten. So uh, we're going to go out there and play our hardest and try to get another win. What's most challenging about an opening round game? Um, you don't know what to expect. You don't know what the crowd's going to be like. Obviously, we're in close proximity to Iowa, so we're hoping our fans can travel well. But you never know what's going to happen. You don't know what they're going to be like. You don't know how our guys are going to respond to it with our first-time young guys and stuff like that. Jordan, thank you so much for the time. Thank you.